Welcome to this tutorial on the Multiple Biome PCG system. In this video, we'll be going over how to set up multiple biomes over a large landscape. The first thing we'll need is the BP spline lid. And what this will do is essentially give us control over where the system is spawning, as well as controlling the layers. So this does require landscape layers and they should be named between A and E. And this is so that the PCG system can scatter the meshes correctly. If they're not named between A and E, then this tool will not work as intended. So let's begin to paint some landscape layers now. And as you can see, we're getting different materials for the different layers we're using. Next off, we'll smooth the blends between them. And what this will do is we'll tell PCG to blend the meshes and it will remove the harsh line of where the meshes stop on one, one biome and start on the next. Now we'll drag this spline over the painted areas and this will allow the meshes to spawn in. Then we'll drag the BP PCG holder layered and as you can see we've got some decals here but we'll come back to them later on in the video. So now on the spline, we'll want to enable our layers and this should hopefully spawn in some meshes. So as you can see, layer A is spawning the meshes that belong there. And you should be able to see on the desert that the blend that we painted in is working correctly. So the density is falling off when the area is blended. So now we'll enable layer B. And as you can see, we've got some different meshes here. And the great thing about the system is all of these different layers have all the controls available to you. So now let's enable layer C and this will just compute. And as you can see, once again, the new layer has been included into the system. And the same goes for layer D and layer E. Now let's look at how we actually customize these individual layers. So on the blueprint, we have multiple holders. In the PCG settings, we have the cleanup and generate, which will come in handy. And we have the custom meshes. So as you can see, these are named between mesh sets A and E. So these will coordinate with the landscape layers. Each of these mesh sets can be changed individually. So you can have unique meshes for each layer. Now we'll go on to layer A configuration, and this will only control the forest biome area, so all of our green assets at the moment. So as you can see, when we change the settings for this layer, they won't change for the rest. So this is really handy for creating uh, vast landscapes or whole worlds with this single tool. So now we move back on to the decals. So each layer has settings for decals. The reason we've got these is when the meshes are far away, you might not want to spawn them and you might want to spawn decals instead to fake the illusion of meshes being spawned. So we have separated these into the layers so each layer can have its own individual blueprint. And these decals can also be moved individually. So if you're not happy with one, one where it's placed, you can move it, scale it, or completely delete it. One thing to note is if you do regenerate the PCG system, then these decals will move back to their original positions. And that's it for this system. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next part.